the next thing, the most beneficial thing for achieving sincerity, according to Qadi Abu Bakr, and this is based on the Quranic truths, is truthfulness, sidq. And this is why the highest maqam after the prophets is what? Siddiq, right? Siddiq, al-anbiya wa siddiqeen wa shuhada wa salihin. That's the tartib, the anbiya, the siddiqeen, the shuhada, the salihin. Though that's the tartib. The best are the prophets and then the siddiqeen. The highest siddiqa is Maryam alayhi salam, right? Allah chose her over all the women of the world during her time, right? And she's honored in being the mother of uh, Isa alayhi salam. And Isa is also honored by having Maryam for a mother. Allahu Akbar. So, the, and the highest siddiq in our ummah is Abu Bakr. And that's why he is the highest after the Messenger of Allah in maqam, according to our aqidah. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, that's his name. And, and the thing about Abu Bakr is, he was sadiq with Allah and with the Messenger of Allah. He was the truthful one. And the Messenger of Allah said, every heart wavered when I explained to Islam, about Islam to them, except Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. From the man, Khadija radiallahu anha al-Kubra. She knew, for, she married the Prophet because she knew he was going to be a Prophet. That's why she married him. She knew Waraka and she, she had. And so did one of the cousins of Waraka tried to marry Abdullah before Amina because she saw the light of Nabuwa in his face. So they knew, they, they had information. So Sitq is something that we have to get. Now, if you look, one of the most profound, I mean, the whole Quran is profound. You can't say one of the most. I, I, I'm always trying to watch, guard my tongue about the Quran. But really, uh, uh, the, the ayah in the Qur'an, it's, we, we should deliberate all of the Qur'an. But this ayah in, about talking about this, a sidq, is Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, attaqu Allah wa kunu ma'a sadiqeen. So, suhbat al sadiqeen, being in the company of truthful people. And then, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, attaqu Allah wa kulu qawlan sadeeda. Be truthful in your speech. يُصْلَحْ لَكُمْ عَمَارِكُمْ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبُكُمْ Allah will rectify your affairs in the dunya and He'll forgive you in the akhirah with sidq, being truthfulness, being truthful. Now, sidq is, the basis of it is the heart and its translator is the tongue. And so guarding the tongue. And the, the, there, the one noble quality of the tongue is sidq, is truthfulness. But there are over 20 harmful qualities of the tongue. And they've been enumerated in, by many of the scholars. One of them is uh, Imam al Musawi al Yaqubi's book, which is called Maharim al Lisan, which is worth translating. It's a great book on what's prohibited to speak.